Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at another Marvel Legends series X-Men 97 figure and today we have Wolverine at top we have all the characters we are going to collect in this wave nice picture of animated Wolverine on the side here he is in his plastic cage waiting to get out and then on the side nice promo picture and the other figures to get in this way, Magneto, Rogue, Storm, Gambit, and Bishop. And so far, I've reviewed Bishop and Rogue. No, I haven't. I've let me start again. I have reviewed Gambit and Rogue. I really want Bishop right now to review. Um, so um, if you if you like my um, channel, etc., go check those out. So let's get Wolverine out of his uh, his uh, plastic cage. Okay, so here is Wolverine out of his cage, and um, I've got to admit, I do, I really love this uh, costume. Now, there have been a few alliterations of this costume, um, some sort of based on that original sort of classic animated, um, and then some probably a little bit more modern. Uh, in particular, I'll reference sort of the Toy Biz series Free Wolverine, which had him with his uh, mask on and one with Ali's mask on I'm gonna say I could be talking out of turn there it's been a long time since I looked at that figure and that figure was quite cool um my main love has always been the series 9 Wolverine and then re more recently we had um the animated specific version and then we just had a, a classic sort of Wolverine um however I feel like this is uh the best of both of those figures and I will show him with that but there's definitely a more of an animated feel here in terms of the the blue on the, the various parts etc the yellow and how the the sort of black tiger stripes sort of go in there and then you get the x belt there and obviously his pants etc and his lovely boots yellow feel is very cool oh wow i love that oh man do you know what wolverine um He's probably not my favorite character now. I've 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 grown and um, hate me or love me. Cyclops is my favorite character, um, but Wolverine at the time, like most kids, I was in love with this character. He was amazing. Just look how cool that looks. He's got beautiful, beautiful hair, etc. We get a nice little stern facer. He does look a little bit more psycho maybe uh, yeah maybe a little bit psycho so anyway so he's ooh, he's got a nice little butterfly there the arm can go around this bit sort of goes with it this bit you can also adjust as as you move the arm as well so you can see you can sort of adjust it so it fits for a purpose you obviously got a bend there you get a swivel there it is a pinless on the arm which is very nice to see and then you get a double there you got this beautiful I mean look at wow look at those claws they are stunning and then you get an up so you can really that probably wasn't the best example you can really get him into some really really beefy beefy um killer moves there look at him he's like freddy krueger uh wolverine's probably more popular than freddy krueger well i'd hope so anyway got an ab crunchy crunch he's got a nice swivel on the waist below the belt no pun intended <laughs> then you could do the four splits that is very very nice i thought he had a drop there for some reason he's got a nice swivel there on the leg which i really like and once again he's got the pinless legs which is very very nice uh a little movement there there is a swivel on the shin there is a lefty a righty and upsy and a downsy and that boot wow even that boot looks cool this whole figure looks absolutely stunning i love this figure it's absolutely pure pure beautiful so let's have a look at some of his uh, other accessories etc okay firstly he comes with a hand that does not have the claws poking out which I do really appreciate as a Wolverine because he doesn't always have his claws in. He also doesn't always have his mask up. So it is nice that we have got this plain looking head, etc. And let's be honest, if you've been collecting Marvel Legends as long as I have, you've got multiple heads. 
of Wolverine that perhaps you could uh, reuse. However, this is a beautiful head sculpt. And then the other uh, sort of accessory is the fact that you can unmask him as if he's uh, pulled the mask off. So in the animated show, there was a couple of um, issues where you sort of saw the mask like this. In, in particular, I'm going to say, I could be wrong, Cold Comfort, where um, he, he pulls the mask out of his backpack, if I remember rightly. And it just just looks very, very decent like that. I really do like that. So let's uh, add the Wolverine uh, head on. Okay, so we've, um, I think we really have gone back to the nights because this is the sort of head sculpt that we would have got. No expression, this uh, sort of emotionless, clean cut Wolverine, etc. around there. And the beautiful uh, mask that goes over it and the white eyes. This is a very typical 90s looking figure. Now, what well, would have been cool is if we got a um, good old fashioned not that I've ever smoked one uh, cigar that he used to do. He used to s smoke on a regular basis back in those early early days, etc. But the other thing is this 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 head sculpt is very difficult for you to put him in terms of a scene because he's very very emotionless. So I'm just going to bring in the other two Wolverines that I referenced earlier. So you've got obviously and these uh pin by the way i just wanted to point out some differences as well so you got wolverine the the really animated version which does have the growling face there we go and then we've got the wolverine that came before that i don't rem really actually remember when he came in uh and once again you you can really see the difference in terms of blues etc in terms of these figures and this one is actually I think different to this one so that makes this one even more different so like i said this is the best of both worlds so and i've actually got them the wrong way around in terms of what i wanted to show you so and it helps if i don't drop my figure so, so i just wanted to show the hand so this hand has the the perfect metal pieces on there that the adamantium pops out whereas this don't the don't does not <laughs> have that so i just wanted to point that out so that's uh, important if you're looking for the definitive Wolverine, or in particular, the animated. And then in terms of, like I said, I've gotten the wrong way around. This Wolverine, I mean, just look at how they have improved the adamantium on this one compared to this one. Um, obviously, I can only apologize because I don't have the, the other uh, Wolverine's uh, hands. And in fact, I can't, I mean, they'd they're be in my box somewhere, etc. So... I just wanted to show you those two bits because I felt like there if if you're trying to decide on what Wolverine to get then this is um a very, very different decision now I guess the the annoying f this ball joint is really hard to move I don't know where I put it on wrong but it's very very tight um one thing I did want to point out is the fact that if you wanted to use this head sculpt as well they've done the whole cell shade in there so you can't even use well, you could and try and get away with it. I don't feel like it would have the same theme, theme but, you know, he's growling there. Um, and then in terms of this one, you can really see that the the hair pieces are a lot different. But the growliness on this is a very, I do like that a lot. And because I have great love for the past, these are my first Wolverines I got. Series 9, Apocalypse Build, a figure wave um these even though these did the job for a very long time you can see that some great improvement has been made in terms of just the the older style wolverine costume i really do hope with this this build etc they will redo uh astonishing x-men wolverine but you know this was my first ever marvel legend figure that's what started me off and my wife hates it when i bring that one out uh, because she knows what it represents. She knows she shouldn't have let me buy it when we went to Portsmouth that one time in the UK. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter. The one thing I wanted to point out is that the shins are a different yellow. That was the only real disappointment uh, I've got in terms of color. Other than that, I think this is a really decent figure. Other than the emotionless uh, Batman kissing 
face yes once you see it you cannot unsee that and you know if batman is on there kissing himself you know that you've got a great wolverine so anyway hope you like my video uh please support my channel by uh subscribing if you like me and you like listening to me ramble on about figures uh thank you for watching i think i've said that thank you to those that subscribe to my channel uh, make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.